Ancient Wheel Unit. <laughs> One of the things that we've tried to do with Muto from a stylistic point of view, looking at all the other platformers out there, is instead of going for the very bright, kind of happy world look with very solid color, we're going for a much more realistic, textured world, but still with exaggerated shapes and designs. Hey, you can't do that, Doctor. So overall, our worlds have that really nice, rich, detailed structure to them that we think is pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes. Planet Midway, what used to be the seventh planet of Centralis, with hopes to secede from Bernatal's empire and become their own franchise, is now just one chunk of planet crust floating in space with a scorched, twisted laboratory perched on the edge. And it is all Dr. Mutho's fault! <laughs> All right, the evolution of Dr. Muto. We started, we wanted to create a mad scientist. We came up with the classic idea. This is a pretty classic uh, cartoon version of the typical mad scientist in his lab coat. We went actually three different directions. We went uh, up here with kind of the wacky, kind of large shapes, Frankensteinian kind of skull. Uh, we then came down to just a more generic uh, goggles, the old fashioned doctor's uh, reflector. Based on these two directions, we said, what would he look if he were made a little more evil? Give him a little sinister look, put a little wart on his nose. We wanted to see what would happen if we went young, more of the boy genius as opposed to the crazy mad scientist. All this sort of gelled into this character here. So we took him and we wanted to focus him in both directions. So we took him to the young side, so this would be the young Dr. Muto. Then we went to the other side of the spectrum, tried to come up with something super evil, super dark. And after we uh, batted it around, we ended up coming back to the middle and we really liked this guy, so we kept him. The morphs. I look towards their abilities and what they could do. And that's obviously the most important aspect of our game. If the doctor didn't morph, he'd never be able to pull this off. I think one of the things that separates Muto from many of its competitors in the action adventure genre is the look. And it definitely sets it apart from the, uh, the existing pack. Wheel, eh? Hydrocolic, hydrofusion, 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 hydrofusion,